These are the different paddle options and riding styles for a stand-up paddleboard. For this video, I'll be using the inflatable Connolly stand-up paddleboard with a flip-up kayak seat. This model comes with a handle and two different paddles, a short one and a long one. To change the paddles, you push in the ball spring to insert or remove the paddles. On the top of the handle is the grip. You open or close the clamp to allow it to move up, down, or twist. If the clamp is too loose, you can pop it out and rotate it to make it tighter so that the grip stays still in the handle. If you look at the paddles, you'll notice it has a scoop side. You pull the scoop side toward the water. The grip at the other end should be aligned with the paddle so that you can grip and pull back. You want to get most of the paddle underwater, but not too far or you'll lose efficiency. Most people use a stand-up board by, of course, standing on it, in the center, aligned evenly. With your feet in the same position, this allows you to go back and forth paddling from one side to the other. Again, you have the scoop to the back as you pull back into the water to move yourself forward. For standing up, you'll most likely want the longer paddle. You can also kneel on the paddle boards, and for kneeling, you'll probably want the shorter paddle. If you want to use the kayak seat like on this one, you'll also want to use the shorter paddle. One trick I do is use the mesh bag and attach it behind the seat so that I can put my PFD in there and also attach my keys so I don't lose them out of my pocket in the water. What I noticed using the kayak seat is that my weight was very biased to the rear because of the seat position and that meant that every paddle I took, I spent a lot of energy rotating it left to right instead of going straight forward. With weight on the front like the dog or another person, it does seem to keep it more level and a little bit more efficient. But I finally upgraded to this Werner double-ended kayak paddle. It's lightweight with a carbon fiber shaft and adjustable. You want to make sure that you get the right length and the people at REI were able to help me with that based on my position so that it had the most efficient paddling motion. With the kayak paddle and a passenger up front, I can get the most efficient motion with the stand-up board. Again, you'll notice that I'm trying to get most of the paddle underwater, but not overdoing it to keep the motion efficient. Try the different riding styles, the standing, the kneeling, and a seat if you have it. Figure out which you like best, and then find the right paddle for your style. Now it's time to get on the water and enjoy the board. Subscribe to my YouTube channel below and let's celebrate turning fuel and air into adrenaline.